Different by design. Studebaker is. Studebaker. Studebaker is. Studebaker. Studebaker. Hi everyone, Kyle here again joining you from the upper level exhibits here at the Studebaker National Museum. Now, now most of you probably know this vehicle behind me. Nine times out of ten it is the favorite thing seen by every four or five year old that visits the museum. I mean after all, what child doesn't uh, go through a firefighter or fire truck phase at some point? Um, but yes, this is our 1928 Studebaker fire truck complete with fire hydrant and our friendly Dalmatian mascot. We'll call him Spot right here. Um, and it is one of the largest vehicles we have on display here at the museum. Now, in honor of the recent International Firefighters Day on May 4th, we thought we'd give it a closer look. Now, Studebaker had a long history of producing fire trucks and fire apparatus that goes all the way back to uh, its horse-drawn era. Now, early fire trucks usually consisted of a horse-drawn cart or wagon uh, with a water tank and a hand-operated pump. Now, by the turn of the 20th century, many fire departments made that transition from horse-drawn to self-propelled units, um, but gasoline or steam-powered engines were still used to fire uh, to power firefighting equipment where the rigs were still pulled by horses, as you can see in this uh, pretty dramatic image here. Now, this trans transition took many years, but given the high stakes the fire departments were dealing with, I mean, lives were on the line, after all, uh, horses were often seen as more reliable since they never uh, ran out of gas or broke down. Now, eventually, most towns and cities that could afford a motorized fire truck purchased one, um, though other equipment like hose carts, like we have over here next to our um, fire truck, it's a 1905 model, um, were still popular alternatives in smaller communities since they were far less expensive. Now, with the ever-present threat of fire in cities and manufacturing centers, the city of South Bend and Studebaker both maintained fleets of motorized fire, uh, fire trucks starting in the early 20th century, as you can see in these images here. Now, this fire truck was ordered by the city of St. Joseph, Michigan in mid-1928 and was the city's first gasoline-powered fire engine. A Studebaker Junior bus chassis was selected, which rode on a 175-inch wheelbase and was powered by Studebaker's uh, big six-cylinder uh, six, six engine. Now, Warner Motor Sales of Benton Harbor, Michigan, sold the chassis for about $2,400, about $44,000 today, and it was sent to the Boyer Fire Apparatus Company in Logansport, Indiana, for outfitting. Now, the truck passed all its test with flying colors and was promptly put into service in St. Joseph as a pumper truck um, and it was later turned into a combination turret and hose truck um, with chemical tanks added to sort of beef up its firefighting capabilities. Now the Studebaker here served faithfully until St. Joseph replaced it in the early 1950s um, when it was acquired by the Osco Auto Specialty um, Company in Benton Harbor um, which utilized it as a fire truck until the mid-1970s. Um, so how did we come to acquire it? Uh, so in the 19, late 1980s, Burkhart Advertising actually acquired the truck and then donated it to the museum. Um, an extensive restoration was undertaken by museum volunteers, um, which was partially underwritten by the South Bend Firefighters Association and the Studebaker Drivers Club. Now these efforts brought the truck back to its beautiful, original 1928 appearance. It does kind of have the South Bend Fire Department logo on the on the hood there and it has been used for parades and different community events um, but most of the time it sits up here for for guests to enjoy. So next time you're here uh, at, in South Bend or at the museum come check it out it's a wonderful piece and we will see you down the road. Different by design Studebaker is Studebaker is Studebaker is Studebaker is